Norbury Junction today is quiet. It's peaceful, but it should be busy and noisy with the annual Canal Festival. You can't be here. We can't welcome you in person. So we brought in our time machine to take you back to 2019 and perhaps a reminder of what you're missing. So here we go with a wee medley, uh, two songs, Whiskey in the Jar. Music is always a feature with bands at the Junction Inn and last year on the wharf itself at Norbury. Here we go. Yep. What for my daddy oh, there's whiskey in the jar. As I was going over the rock and candy mountain, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. Shall stand and deliver for you are my bold receiver. For sure in the middle of my die. What for my daddy ho? What for my daddy ho? There's whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money and it was a pretty penny. I put it in the pocket and I took it all to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that never would she leave me. But the bed would take the women for they never can be easy. Why sure ain't gonna do rum and die? What for my daddy ho? What for my daddy ho? There's whiskey in the jar. In the county go I spied a damsel, she was young and handsome, her beauty family took my breath away. Everything from donkey rides to a butcher selling pies and sausages from a wildlife charity to a bric a brac store. This is a great family event and this year, if things had gone according to plan, another working boat, in fact two of them, the 1936 pair of working boats, Bainton and Berkhamstead, which had just been donated to the Trust in an incredibly generous gesture by their owner Roger White, would have been the stars of the show. We can give you a, a bit of a preview. Uh, they started on their journey from the Grand Union Canal but only managed to get halfway to Norbury before the lockdown intervened and they're now over on the other side of Birmingham near Alvercote. The pair would have taken pride of place outside the Junction Inn but it wasn't to be. By next year's festival they may look very different as Norbury Wharf's experts and a team of Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust volunteers will have worked to restore them. So that's something to look forward to in a year's time. 
The event has been going on for many years now and we also have some pictures of earlier years to give you a feeling for how it's entertained tens of thousands of visitors over the years. For now, we leave you, and we leave the busy scenes from last year's festival and return to the strange, almost silent world of Norville Junction's lockdown, where the birds are the loudest thing to be heard.